Hi everyone. Today also we are going to discuss a past paper question from the area NPV. So the question that we are going to discuss today, it's 2018 paper 2 question number 5 part A. So if you are calculating your entire paper from 400 marks, this particular question will count for 10 marks. So let's go through the requirement, show the values of the annual cash inflows as plus and minus of the items from 1 to 5 they have given some items and they are asking us to calculate the revised NPV so this is a good question huh? that means revised NPV means they have already calculated some NPV there can be some mistakes in that NPV so we will have to recalculate it we will have to revise it we will have to change it now let's go through the scenario a company has decided to purchase a new machine costing 4 million and its estimated useful life is 4 years. The NPV of this project has been calculated. Already calculated as how much? 600,000 positive. So they have already calculated the NPV. NPV that they have already calculated is 600,000 positive. However, the accountant of the company has later found that the following cash flow items have not been considered. So, first thing what you have to understand to calculate this 600,000 NPV, they have not considered only these cash flows. They have already calculated some NPV. Yeah? So, to calculate the NPV that they have already calculated, this particular amount is already, already considered, already considered. They are not required to tell this amount is already considered to calculate the NPV because they are clearly stating only these items only have not been considered. Only these items only have not been considered. They are clearly stating that. So if they are stating that, what you have to understand, they have already considered this particular 4 million when they are calculating that 600,000 NPV. That's what I told you. This is a good question. When they are calculating that 600,000, this is something already considered. If not, they would have given no. This 4 million also is not considered. They are clearly stating only these items have not been considered. And they are telling, okay, they have given the discounting factors and all. So here what you have to understand, annual operating cost saving, cost saving we learn. It is cash inflow for the company, annual cost saving, annual cost. So every year you will have a saving of 300,000 year 1 to year 4 every year you will have that saving 300,000 sale of old machine so if you are buying the new machine you can sell the old asset so if you are selling the old machine what will happen to the money cash cash is coming in cash inflow so if I am buying the new asset today I will sell the old asset today itself so it's a cash inflow for the year zero which will happen today itself sale value of the new machine sale value of the new machine new machine i won't sell today itself no. when i will sell the new machine after the project is over so i will use the new machine for four years after four years end of fourth year only i will sell the new machine so i will get five hundred thousand by selling the new machine when understand end of the fourth year so this is a cash inflow by selling the new machine you will get money yeah if you sell the machine you will get money this is a cash inflow which will happen in year number four so do remember if you are selling the old asset it's an inflow which will happen in year zero if you are selling the new asset it is also an inflow which will happen in the last year of the operation simple as that and the next one installation charges of the new machine so you will have to install the new machine in order to install it you will have to pay that amount 
so th this is a cash outflow for the year zero and next one they have given annual subscription payable to the central environment authority how much is that 200,000 payable from end of year one so what they are trying to say from this payable from end of year one we are not making the payment in advance once the year is over only we will make the payment that means end of year one we will make the first payment end of year two we will make the second payment end of year three third payment end of year four fourth payment so end of each year we will have to make these payments so these are cash outflows annual subscription annual subscription year one to year four each year you will have to pay that two hundred thousand so let's finish off the calculation this is question number five question number five part a under that first one so here i'll write item number one two three four five then you have year zero year one year two year three year four so i'll do the calculation in thousands here first one annual operating cost saving year one to year four 300 plus 300 plus 300 plus 300 plus 300 in the question they are clearly stating clearly stating in the question here see inflows use the plus outflows use the minus so you have to follow the instructions huh? so we are done with this next one buy sell in the old asset year zero inflow 200,000 inflow 200,000 done with this buy sell in the new asset year 4 inflow 500,000 year 4 inflow 500,000 so done with that one as well installation charges of the new asset it is an outflow minus 1200 and the next one annual subscription every year you have to pay you have to pay outflow year one to year four year one to year four minus 200 minus 200 each year minus 200 so we are done with the first question using the format that they have given so we have done that particular question we are done with that so next what they are asking they are asking us to calculate the revised NPV so let's calculate the revised NPV that's the part two of the question so for you to get the revised NPV you should have the net cash flows first so I'll get the net cash flows net cash flows so here net cash flow is how much minus thousand here net cash flow is plus hundred here net cash flow is plus 100 here net cash flow is plus 100 here net cash flow how much 800 minus 200 it is plus 600 plus 600 the net cash flow should be multiplied from the discounting factors here it is 10 percent in this question yes discounting factors are 10 percent so always year zero so here i'll write the year numbers year zero year one and year two year three and year four year four <coughs> so discounting factor year zero always it is one year one zero point nine one zero point 83 0.75 0.68 so let me confirm it 91837568 91837568 good so here now let's get the present values let's get the present values so here it is minus 1000 here plus 91 
here plus 83 here plus 75 600 into 0 0.68 0 0.68 plus 408 plus 408 so here what you have to understand these are the present values present values of the cash flows that you missed these are the present values of the cash flows that you didn't consider so here see what i am writing npv net of the present value so positives and negatives together positive present values and negative present values together we will call it as net present value net present value of the items items which have not been have not been considered net present value of the items which have not been considered so these items have not been considered again i am reminding don't take this formula na? if you take that formula you are wrong because what you have to understand that's what i told you this is a good question when they are calculating this 600,000, already that 4 million is taken. If it is not taken, they will tell it has not taken. They are clearly stating only these items have not been considered. They are clearly stating it. Huh? So it's a new learning for you. If you have not learned that, it's a new learning for you. So here let's take the NPV of the items which have not been considered. So minus 1000 plus 91 plus 83 plus 75 plus 408 so here i am getting a value of minus 1000 let me confirm it plus 91 plus 83 plus 75 and plus 408 yes i am getting a value of minus three four three now based on this if you write the recommendation again it's wrong that's what i told you this is a good question this is the npv of the items which have not been considered so already there is a npv that you calculated by taking certain items by taking certain items you have already calculated some npv how much is that six hundred thousand so already you have calculated an NPV which is by taking 600,000. The NPV that you already got is 600,000. So once you adjust the items that you didn't take, once you adjust the items that you didn't take, 343,000, what is the corrected? Corrected or revised? Revised or corrected corrected npv what's the revised or corrected npv 600 minus 343 it is 257 plus 257000 so are they asking us to write the recommendation no revise the npv of the project at 10 percent discount rate and the recommendation yes they are asking us to write the recommendation so let's write the recommendation <coughs> as the as revised NPV is a positive value. It is recommended to because we know when the NPV is positive, you will accept the project. When the NPV is negative, you will re reject the project. It is recommended to proceed with the proceed with the investment. Investment. So that's it. So we are done with that particular question also if you like the video if you have learned something new please make sure to 
like the video and hit that subscribe button and this is not the first npv past paper question that i have done so if you click somewhere over here you will get a playlist in that playlist you can check whatever the other past paper questions that i have done for the area npv